Hey, Super Fizz here. Uh, doing a couple of these bench chats, trying to get it right. Um, got some stuff in my mind today I want to share with you. The most pressing thing at this moment is that uh, our team is seeing uh, staking pools that we're not ready to vouch for that we're not comfortable with. Um, a couple of these are being heavily promoted and some of them are projects we've never heard of at all. That doesn't mean anything. I don't claim that we know everything, but in general we have a good sense of what's floating around. Uh, so when we see a staking pool being heavily promoted that we've never heard of, it causes us some concern. Um, and so when it comes to staking pools, you've heard me talk and say a lot of positive things about Rocket Pool. Um, when I talk to the Rocket Pool team, they're telling me they're taking it slow and cautiously. They don't want to deploy a product that's going to cause you to lose your funds. And so they may not be the first to market, but what I'm comfortable with is my perception that they're being incredibly careful with user funds. So a lot of these products who are trying to be the first to market, who are making these promises about substitute coins or who... Um, are custodying your funds or something. I, I just, I don't feel good about them. Uh, that is one of the reasons we've developed this uh, Ethereum due diligence committee. Uh, and I think they're going to get up and running very quickly. But in the meantime, I have to urge you, don't be so impatient that you risk losing all of your funds to get a very small return. Um, with the beacon chain just launching and you know, it may launch December 1st. We'll talk about that in a minute. Uh, the return rates look very high, but you have to realize those are very short term return rates and they're going to fall quickly when deposits go up. So if you're under the impression that returns on staking are going to be in the 10 to 15% range, I'd really encourage you to just slow down and take a breath and relax because that's a temporary illusion. And any any staking company who's promising you these big returns is also probably an illusion. Uh, I, it's so important to me that we take a slow and cautious approach and carefully look at the products we're using. Um, so right now, the things that I'm confident about um, are the three leading solo staking clients. Um, well, let me be fair, the four leading. Nimbus is a part of that. I just don't have a lot of personal experience with Nimbus, but I look at Lighthouse, uh, Teku, and, and Prism, and I know that those four products are solid products. So you can solo stake on them and be fine. Now you're saying, well, I, I don't have 32 Ether, but I still want to get in this early game. And I really have to urge you to wait. Don't jump in right now give the due diligence committee a couple of weeks um, before and after launch to look at these products carefully. If you have the technical experience to look at them and vet them yourself, that's great. But if you're like 99% of us and you are a home user or just an enthusiast, the smart thing for you to do is just wait a little while. Um, your ETH isn't going anywhere. It's likely to appreciate in value. But by taking risks on these unvetted products, you're risking uh, losing your, your money. I know for one of these products that I've heard about just in the past two days that I've seen promoted on some popular YouTube ch channels, um, to me, it, it, it reeks very strongly of a pump and dump. And I'm not going to say their name because I don't want to give them additional credit. But you can apply this to any product that you're seeing uh, in popular popular channels that doesn't have community support behind it. Um, sure, they may have something, it may be vaporware, but really what they're working to do is pump up that price so that the promoters can then sell and capitalize on um, other people who think they're buying a staking product. There will be losses due to poor cho choice staking. There will be losses from people who sent their funds to someone that mishandled them. There will be losses from people who sent their funds to contracts that turned out to be exploitable. There are going to be losses from 
people who thought they were buying a staking coin that was going to make them rich and the developers of it dumped on them and took the money and left. That is the way that crypto works. It is the Wild West. So if you're seeing a product that you don't know very well and they're telling you they're the next big thing, I, I would really strongly encourage you to just hold your funds and not let yourself be victimized. Um, there's always a chance that you're going to make that genius trade and walk away with a 10% gain. And I hope that happens for you. But I think that's a really poor choice. I think that's the best thing that you can do right now. Um, if you're a solo staker with more than 64 Ethereum, 64 Ether, it's a good job to, it's a good idea to maybe submit one validator now. Uh, if you have more than 64 Ether, then you know what you're doing and do your due diligence. But if you're a staker with less than 32 Ether, I just need you to wait. Um, it may it may be a five month wait after launch. So we're looking at uh, June of 2021 might be the right time for you to get into the staking game. And I'm going to be the first person to be like, hey, now is the time. Uh, but please don't jump the gun. Please don't do that early. Please don't put your funds at risk. Um, I care more about your your interest and eagerness to participate in Ether than a tiny gain that may not materialize. So do yourself right. A um, couple of other things I wanted to talk about. I'm probably going to skip them for now, um, but we'll catch up with those later. My big points for today are going to be about three things. Um, genuinely solid staking pools will not be ready out of the gate look for the June time frame. This includes products like Rocket Pool that I'm a big fan of. Um, beware of shady pools. I don't trust many pools. Uh, let them have some time to prove themselves before you put funds into them. And finally, let the Ethereum due diligence committee give it a few weeks to come together and start uh, doing due diligence with you on these pro projects um, before you strike out on your own and um, end up losing funds. So that's all. Supervis here. Have a great day. Thanks for your time.